Hello and welcome to my channel. This is video number four of the Mini Talon 3D printing and build. As you can see, I finished the fuselage and I've designed a couple of parts that would help me mount the electronics. Let's look at the front here. This is the plate for the battery. And as you can see, it has holes for the straps. You can put uh, as up to three straps here. Uh, I'm gonna put some uh, shelf liners here in the middle and then the straps would help keep the battery in place. Uh, this mount here is for the flight controller and the ESC. And it's designed in such a way that it fits my specific flight controller. So the flight controller would slot in here and there is like a plate on top that would secure the, the, the flight controller in place using four screws. Going back, I've designed this mount for the antennas. So, so uh, my receiver would go inside here and the uh, antenna wires would go out. And then the antennas themselves for my R9SX receiver would be mounted here at the uh, edges. This is the mount for my GPS uh, and compass. And then last but not least, this is basically the, the mount for the motor. This is the motor mount. Uh, I've already 3D printed everything and I've put it together. So I'm going to show you now how it looks in real life. Let's go ahead and jump to my uh, workshop. Okay, so this is the fuselage, fully printed and glued together. And this is the hatch, two magnets on the fuselage, two magnets on the hatch. And as you can see, a very positive and strong uh, snap. It fits in perfectly and it stays there in place. If you look inside you'll see what I what I just spoke about so those are basically the two trays this one is for the battery I don't know if you can see it properly this one's for the battery and the one in the back is for the flight controller and it has a, it has like a mount for my flight controller uh, if you peek inside you can also see my receiver the R9SX and you can see the antennas already mounted on top I've already also put my uh, compass and GPS unit over here and all the wires from the receiver and the GPS unit will be routed to the flight controller that is mounted very close to them let me put the flight controller in and show you so this is the flight controller It simply fits in place, so I'm going to just put it in and you can see how that works. Just put it in like this and then there is this plate that sits on top and secures the flight controller with four screws. I've also finished the motor mount and I've designed it in a way different uh, from how the, oh, the, the original Mini Talon uh, mounts the motor. So let me show you how. So in the original one, the motor mount sits inside. So if it breaks, you'll have to take the, the two parts of the fuselage apart and then fix or work on the motor mount. In my case, I've designed it to be basically glued to the back so if for some reason it breaks you can simply pull it out and then glue a new one so this is the ESC I'm gonna basically slide it in and then the motor sits perfectly on the back like this I'm using a 2216 1300 kV motor Maybe it's a little bit weaker. Maybe I should be using a bigger motor. I don't know. I'm going to test it when it's fully assembled. And then I'll see how much thrust does it give. I'm planning on using... I think this is a 9 by 6 Let me check. Uh, what is this? Yeah, I think it's a 9 by 6 prop. And what I'm 
gonna do now is also I'm gonna install the wing spars and show you how the wing fits so this is this part in the back it's a short one and then the spar in the front this is very long I'm gonna cut it just wanted to show you I'm gonna take the wing As you can see, it's a perfect fit. I'm gonna route the wire through the hole here designed specifically for it. This is the servo wire. And then as you can see, the wing slides in perfectly. I'm gonna continue working on the electronics I'm gonna basically uh, do some soldering I'm gonna mount the motor solder the ESC uh, I'm gonna wire the, uh, everything and the nice thing is that in parallel I can basically start printing um, the left wing and the left tail so as you can see here the right tail is already printed and ready to be glued in like this and uh, the right wing as I've shown you now is also ready uh, even the electronics are the servos installed so while I work on the fuselage electronics I'm gonna in parallel print uh, the left wing and the left tail uh, and then the airplane will be ready I'm planning on using for FPV uh, a DJI digital FPV system which I'm gonna mount here in the front and I have mounts already printed out in the past that would be a perfect fit like for example let me show you like this mount or this mount so the air unit would fit in here and then the antennas would go here and then I would mount, mount the camera in the front and I would basically glue that here in the front one of the reasons why I haven't fixed the trays in place yet, the battery and the flight controller, is because after I put all the electronics in, having a tray that moves will make it easier for me to, to hit the right CG. And then when I get to the right CG, I'll glue those trays in and they will not be able to move anymore. So, this is the update for today uh, please don't forget to smash those like and subscribe buttons and I think I'll have just one or two more videos before the, the, the plane is ready for its maiden thank you very much for watching and have a nice day